Welcome back to Let's Launch. Starting with this video, we're going to be starting a new series. In it, we'll talk about the history of flight and space, both of which come under aerospace. We'll go all the way through to the very beginning with the first flight of the Montgolfier brothers to the Wright brothers' first flight, the SpaceX Starship and NASA's Artemis 1. Let's get started. The first flight ever was in a hot air balloon. It was performed on the 19th of September 1783 in front of the king and queen of the time. This amazing balloon was made of silk lined with paper. It was made by the Montgolfier brothers and this balloon weighed 400 kilograms and a size of around 18 by 13 meters. The balloon was named the Ravio. The first flight was more that was more of an experiment, and there was only a duck, rooster, and a sheep inside the balloon's basket. the The reason for only animals was as a precaution, as later the balloon tore in flight at around 600 meters in altitude. This resulted in a slow descent for around eight minutes. In the eight minutes that it descended, it traveled around three and a half kilometers. When the balloon landed, the, the people went into the basket and they didn't expect the animals to be alive. But as a surprise to them, the animals were in fact alive. After the animal experiment flight, on the 21st of November the same year, a little more, a little more than one month after the initial flight, the humans went in. The images previously displayed are drawings of this epic balloon. The first flying thing to fly with control was the Giffard dirigible. It was an airship filled with hydrogen gas and had a steam engine. It had a sail and a three horsepower engine and these uh, gave it control at a top speed of nine kilometers per hour. Its inner volume was 300 meters cubed. This was partially due to the 44 meter length of the craft. It had enough space for a pilot and was built in 1852 by Henry Giffard. He took special precautions with the highly inflammable gas like a downward directed exhaust. The first flight was on the 24th of September 1852. This flight covered 27 kilometers, around 17 miles, with maneuvers along the way. The flight took three hours and could not fly back due to the wind and the weak power of the engine. Okay, next up we have the Wright Brothers' first flight. Many people consider it to be the first controlled and powered flight. It, it is also considered to be the first heavier than air aircraft. It was done, as many people know, on the 17th of December 1903 in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. The flight was flown in a Wright Flyer and was piloted by Orville. The, it was built by Orville and Wilbur Wright, also known as the Wright Brothers. It was done after a stalled test flight, which was flown by Wilbur due to a coin toss. A stall didn't damage the aircraft too much, luckily. The test flight happened on the 17th, 14th of December, 1903. That date happened to be the 121st anniversary of the hot air balloon. On the 17th, one of the reasons for success could have been the fact that of the strong headwind up of approximately 43 kilometers per hour, also known as 27 miles per hour, an hour. It is recorded in the photographs shown. This event was barely known, seeing as only three newspapers acknowledged it. Thanks for watching, and that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe by either clicking above or scrolling down and clicking the red button, and the bell icon next to it to not miss the next episode. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like this video. 
The next video will be on the left side if it has been published yet, and if not, you can check out the video on the right side, which is on the James Webb.